Harry Potter Magic Awaken, this new Harry Potter RPG game. This was initially marketed as a mobile first game, but there is an official way to play on your PC. It is an official way, but it's a bit secret in the sense that it's actually not that easy to find. So that's why I'm making this video. I want to make sure everybody who is an Harry Potter fan like myself that actually wants to play on PC because you're not really into mobile games or whatever reason, you will be able to do so. This is actually also a way that is cross-platform. You'll be able to play on your PC and on your phone at the same time. So it works quite well. Before I show you how, just want to recap. You know, this is not Hogwarts Legacy that came out earlier this year on all console and PC. This is also not the new game that has been announced that will be focused on Quidditch. This is again an RPG. This is actually a card based RPG. As you can see on the trailer on the screen, you'll be able to do a lot of things. You'll be able to you know, discover the castle, go to your classes, but you'll also fight. And when you fight, this is based on cards. You know, you are RPG cards game, as you can see over here. You can play all alone. You can play with friends. There's a lot of multiplayer aspect if you want. You can play at your own rhythm or you can play in a competitive manner. As with many of the mobile games these days, this is completely free to play. But there are micro transactions. If you want to go faster into the game, if you want more, more cosmetics, maybe also some rare cards, those type of thing. I've played it a bit and so far for me, it doesn't feel like the micro transactions are really necessary, you know, to have fun, to advance. It doesn't feel like, you know, there is a block if you don't do them. But of course, if you do want to do them, in particular, if you want to do a lot more kind of multiplayer PvP and you want to be at the top of the worldwide, you know, ranking, of course, you'll probably need to do some of those microtransactions. But here again, this is free and you can play it on your PC. So now let me show you how. Because basically, if you go on the official Magic Awaken.com website, you will only see the download app store and get it on Google Play. That doesn't really work for your PC. On the other hand, if you go to the Harry Potter Magic Awaken.com, then you'll also see the App Store and Google Play and the Android downloader, but also PC download. And then with this, you'll get this loader over here where you can once again play the game for free. You can connect it to the version that you have on your phone. You can do it all. You know, I haven't had any crash, any bug so far. Maybe this will happen in the future, but so far it's really working well for me. So this is an official but a bit hard to find a way to play it on your computer. Now, I know some people don't love this type of graphic, but I think it actually works quite well with the Harry Potter uh, world. You know, we are over here in front of Gringotts. We are uh, just walking around. This is the beginning of the game that I'm showing over here. You know, you can talk to some people. And so far, the controllers are working well too. It's not like they're telling you, you know, move your finger. They're telling me, move my mouse. They are telling me, you know, use Alt, use F, you know, all those type of things. So it's it's really working for PC. So I'd love to hear in the comments below if you actually want to see gameplay of me playing the game. You know, if you should focus on the story, if you want me to do some battles, some PvP, those type of things. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I hope to see you next time.